Hey guys, on this video we're going to be setting up your Stadia. So let's just get started with the basics. So I want to let you know first of all, you guys have a microphone down here. Headset will go right there and to charge it up, it's back here. So you guys have this that came with your stuff, right? So hook this up right there and then charge it up like so. So that's how you would charge up a Stadia controller right now. Okay, so that's just in case you guys have no battery, but you guys should get some battery already with your Stadia, so you don't have to worry about that. But that's some of the basics that you should know. Then you guys should have got this. Okay, so this is your Comcast Ultra. I'm just gonna take this sticker out because we don't really need it on. And down here, this is your connection to your TV. So hook this up. This is your HDMI. So that's gonna go on your side of your TV. And then we need to plug this into some electricity. So you guys have this. This is what you guys need to hook this up to. All right, so this connection will go right there. Okay, so plug this into some electricity. Then this end again to your TV. So that's your HDMI. So plug that into the side and then plug that in. All right, so get that plugged in. Then your Stadia to turn it off and turn it on. So I'm gonna show you really, really fast. You're gonna have to hold on to this, right? So that's your on and off switch right now on your Stadia controller. So you're gonna have to hold until it vibrates. That means it's on. If you guys want to turn it off, again, you guys can just hold on to it until it vibrates and then it just turns off. Or what you can do is just let it be. To turn it off, it actually shuts down by itself. So as long as you guys turn it on once and then just leave it there, it's gonna turn off by itself once it knows you're not using it anymore. There's also something I wanna mention with your Chromecast right here. On this end, see this right here? That's for your ethernet. So if let's say your router's not the best, doesn't have the best Wi-Fi speed, this will help. Even if you guys have really low speed in your house, then ethernet usually does help out. So it's more stable, there's less chances of lag. So plug that in directly to your router and that's using an ethernet cable that's gonna go right here. All right, whether you guys have an Android device or an iPhone, anything, iPad even, doesn't really matter, just get the app, okay? So in terms of Androids, go into your Google Play Store. In iPads or iPhones, you guys would go into your App Store and from here, you're gonna search up Google Home app. So I'm just gonna type that in. Here is our Google Home. So we're just gonna hit on download. Again, this can be an iPad, Android, tablets out there. It works on a lot of devices. Once you guys download that, we're gonna take you to the next step, which is to make your Chromecast work. But for now, we're just gonna leave this. I want you guys to get ready in order to set up everything. So everything ready right here on your iDevice. Something else we want to download is the Stadia app. So we're just gonna look for the Stadia app and here it is. So I actually made a video about downloading it, but it's basically just you guys tapping right here. So I'm just gonna open it up right now. And this would be in order to set up your controller, the Stadia app. So down here, you guys see use this account. So just make sure to tap right there. And then you should see an invite code. So you should have got an email from Google already with that invite code. I'm gonna show you how that looks like. So in your email, you should have got an email that looks something like this and your code will be right up there. So just go through your emails and this should be an email from Stadia that tells you your code and copy and paste that code into the app. So we're just gonna paste the code right here. So right now let's just tap down here below where it says, let's go. We're gonna see this, scroll down, well, scroll down a little bit click on agree, and then we're gonna go next. At this point, just choose any avatar you guys like, then hit next, and choose your Stadia name. We're just gonna hit on um, preview. We're just gonna use, use this name. Let's just go onwards, tech and design. Next, it's gonna ask you for your credit card. So just put in your credit card information, and there we go. So your Stadia subscription's all set. Hit next once again. So right now we can claim a game and play. So get games included in Stadia Pro. So we're just gonna check out the games right now. Stadia games, here they are. Yes, two of them. That's it, guys. <laughs> That's all we get, two of them. So right now this one's free, obviously, because we have Stadia Pro, and then we have Destiny, Destiny, and Samurai. So we get these two guys right now. 
So it's good to claim them. So what we're gonna do is just tap on one of them. We're just gonna claim it. We're gonna go back. And this is how to claim games right here for your Stadia so you guys can play whatever you guys want. Well, these two games right now. So there's only two available here on Stadia. So we're gonna claim it. Right now, it should say free and it should slash that 79. So don't worry about this part, okay? We're just gonna claim that. Good. So we can just go back. Oh, one more thing. So if we're inside the game, you guys can also scroll down and just see more information about it. I forgot to tell you guys that. But yeah, there's a lot more information about it right there. So we're just gonna go back. Something else to point out is store right here. So if you do wanna purchase any games, right now what you guys can do is just go through this and see this. These are Stadia Pro deals. So for example, this one says $26.99. It has that slash, but it tells you the price right there, $13.50. This one's also $40. So everything has a discount for Stadia Pro. So there are those deals right now you guys can get. Also, if you scroll down, we're gonna see other games. So best of Stadia, and we can see all these games that are available right now for Stadia. You also have the option to just click on see all. And from here, just view all the games that are available right now for you guys to download, obviously at this price. So we're just gonna go back. So at this point, let's just leave this for now and get with our second step. Now, like I mentioned, we have to set this up with your TV. So it's just plugging this into your HDMI port and this to some electricity. So let's do that on the side of our TV. Now on the back of my TV, I have several HDMI ports. One of them is right here. So we can just go ahead and plug it into this HDMI port. Now remember that each HDMI port has a number. So once we get this hooked up, we will have to select the right one with our controller. So right now it's hooked up. And just make sure to hook this up to some electricity. So right now with my controller, I'm just gonna choose the correct port. And this is exactly what you're supposed to see. So remember I told you to download that app and we have that all set up with your iPad or any device you guys have. On my iPad, for example, I'm gonna see this. And I can go ahead and get started. Then what it's gonna do is gonna look for devices. It will ask you to sign in to your Gmail account and then just wait for it. Just make sure right now you will see something like this, Chromecast Ultra. From there, down here below, you will see next. So just tap on next. And yes, maybe I should've just done this with an iPhone, maybe an Android, so it's gonna be a little bit smaller. but. Anyways, this iPad will just do the job. So right now, see that code right there? This is the code that we see here. So everything matches up. So we can go yes, that matches up. Then go ahead and press yes, I'm in. You can choose where you guys are at. I'm just gonna choose living room right now. Then hit up next. You can put in custom name. Now at this point, it should tell you to connect to Wi-Fi. So just choose the correct one. Hit next, put in your password for your Wi-Fi. Once you do that, you should see this screen, connecting to Wi-Fi. After that, we should see this on our TV. It always, always needs an update, so you should see that. So while it's updating on your iDevice, depends what device you guys are using, you will see this, linking your Chromecast. So everything's normal. We're just gonna continue on. Next thing on your app, it's gonna ask you kind of junk mail. Can they send you junk mail? I'm gonna hit no thank you. On our background, we should see our TV, it's just restarting. That's normal, that's just our Chromecast because it was updating. And back on our iDevice, we should see this. So devices, I called it basement TV. That's just the name that I chose. Uh, we have services and Wi-Fi, yeah. So this is all good. And right now we should see our TV do that, which is again, our Chromecast just updating. And on your iDevice, we should see this, updating basement TV. That's because I called it basement, right? Could have called it anything. It's gonna restart once again. So right now it might go into this, which is fine. So it should say Stadia controller right here. We're gonna see on your device, want to set up Stadia controller, question mark. So just go into, go to Stadia. It's gonna open up our Stadia app. Now you might get this message. That's fine because we haven't turned on our controller. 
So here is our controller. We're just going to have to turn it on, just like I mentioned. Hold on to this until it vibrates. So there we go, it vibrated. We see that light. This is normal. So right now on our iDevice, we should see this right here. Controller, steady controller, refreshing update controller. Here's our controller, just have it nearby because it's using our Bluetooth. If you have any problems, there's always refresh down there. However, right now, since we see it, no need to refresh it. We can just hit that up, level unlocked, there we go. Here's our Stadia controller, so you guys can see the lights are blinking. Right now it's vibrating, and that's great. So it's if it's vibrating, your controller is ready for setup. So we can go ahead and say yes, because it is vibrating. And microphone privacy, so we're just gonna continue on with that. Right here, we're just gonna say yes. You guys can put no, sure, go ahead. Put no if you guys don't want to share, but I'm gonna share that information. And now you will see this. So unfortunately, for most of you, you're gonna choose your main Wi-Fi network. You guys can choose another one, but for now, we're just gonna choose that one. We're gonna put in our password for our Wi-Fi network. Once we do that, hit connect. And then it's gonna say this, connecting to Wi-Fi. Now I just wanna show you the controller. It should be doing these colors. That's fine, that's exactly what it's supposed to do. So right now you choose where to play, link in your screen, blah, blah. We're gonna go next, now updating controller, perfect. So it's gonna be updating our controller right now. It's still blinking. At this point we should see this, almost there. Your controller will restart with new update. Now you may notice that your controller will vibrate around two times and then you should see this, a blinking white light. So you can say it's blinking only white because it's only blinking white. That means it's ready. Time to play. So right now on your iDevice, you should see this. It's telling you to look for a code right here on your screen. So we don't really need the app at this point. You're gonna see on your screen, there's a code up there. It's gonna be different for you guys. So if you do my code, it's useless. <laughs> You're gonna need to do your own code. So we're just gonna press two A's, two Y's, and then we should see this on our screen. Back on our iDevice, we're just gonna hit on done. So that's down here below. So what we're gonna do it in our Stadia app right here on your iDevice. You guys see this right up here? Just hit that up and down here below, you will see add account to Chromecast. And here's my Chromecast. It's gonna connect up. And from here, you should see this. So just make sure it's the correct email. Hit on connect and it's gonna be adding your account. So right now, you're all set. We're just gonna hit on done down here below. Our screen should say this. At this point, we can add that pin so that's an option if you guys don't want anybody else to use your account on this TV. However, in this case, we're going to skip that. We're just going to hit undone. So that's by pressing A on your controller. And down here below, we're going to see that circle. So that's where you guys are at. So tech and design, in my case, I'm going to press A. And at this point, this game loaded. It didn't really load right now. What we can do is just scroll down. We're going to see Destiny that we also have. We can browse and buy games at Stadia, but right now what we're going to do is go right into Destiny. So we're going to hit that up. And that's it for your setup. There's nothing more you guys need to do. You're actually done with your setup. Right now I just wanted to launch that game so you guys can see that it works just fine. Your controller should be working 100% right now. Anyways, if you guys have any comments, questions about Stadia or anything really, you guys can leave them down here below in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.